Hey, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. I am going to create today in a new art journal book that I created, and I will link below the video that I followed by Lolly Mealy, and I'm sorry if I am pronouncing that wrong. I um, watched a video on how to create these twin cheese, and they're two inch by two inch little pieces of art. And these are the things that I use to create them. So I made them into a few cards and I had a handful left. So I wanted to create a art journal page and I'm hoping that you like the process. Um, it's how I made the Twinchies just with the little added twist. Now this art journal page is amazing and of course, um, I was just showing you a little inspiration for my next piece there. But it's really cool because it lays so flat. And I don't have anything like that. So like I said, I will link the video from Lolly to you so that you can check it out and possibly make your own. I'm going to cover my watercolor paper with some gesso and a soft brush. And this is just how we made the twin cheese. And I'm just following my little notes that I had. And I wanted to create this so I could add the little pieces of art to my art journal and have them as a remembrance of the creativity that I did. So, yep, just putting down the gesso. And I'm going to give that a dry and we're going to put down some collage elements. Now I'm just grabbing a tray that's been on my desk. Um, these are things that I used in my new online class. And I'll also link that below for you if you're interested. You're creating um, different mixed media backgrounds with different uh, products that you may have in your stash. And we're making 12 different art artist trading cards. So if you're interested, check that out. The link will be below. So I'm just going ahead and I'm going to use some matte medium and I'm going to put down these collage elements. Now on this page, you can see that I have a gap and that is going to be perfectly fine because I'm going to use some of my papers and go over the gap and no one will be the wiser. Like I said, this was my first attempt at making this handmade art journal and um, I didn't have the stitching down 100%, but it was super fun. I think it's going to be really fun to create in and I'm going to probably make another one, but this one has, I think, maybe 16 full sheet pages in it. So this is going to take me a while to um, fill up. So I'm just going to work on this one for a while and I think that it will be really fun to work on such a flat book where it doesn't have to be weighted down or have all of those problems. So it was a good challenge for me. I had never made one before like I said and I think it turned out pretty cool. So going ahead and just putting down some of my papers that I had on my tray there. There is some um, old magazine papers, some um, music sheet papers, and of course some of this beautiful ledger paper that I had with some um, old writing on it. And I'm just letting myself uh, be in the moment and create and not have any stress. Um, it's really, really uh, cold and windy out today. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity just to snuggle in my craft room and make something for you. So I'm making sure that I have that crease there and the papers are going right over that crease and creating some cool background texture and dimension. And that's just how easy it is, um, putting down your papers and just letting letting the piece inspire you. So there's going to be quite a few different techniques. And again, I will uh, link the little um, 
information from Molly to you if I can find it. It was in a little taster session that I took an online class and it was a two week thing. And I really got inspired by Lolly. And I will at least um, link her YouTube channel so you can check her out too. She is just amazing. And I think that I will have lots of fun um, watching her and learning from her. Now, this is a piece of water, uh, not water, wallpaper that I had laying on my desk and I loved the different elements on it and I thought it would make a really cool part of this background. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and put everything down. I put a crease in there because it's going to go in the fold and I thought that would be a little bit easier. So. Nothing too crazy right now, but um, yeah, so far I've had fun creating my first online class and that was interesting, quite a learning experience. So um, hopefully some of you will take it and you will enjoy it and you'll let me know what you think and tell me um, if there's I'm sure there's room for improvement, but things that you would like to see differently. And uh, my next online class will be out in November, and it's going to be um, holiday bags and tags so that we can get those Christmas presents ready for the holidays. And we'll be able to do some mixed media projects on some holiday bags and tags. I thought that would be fun. And that was an idea from my friend Kathy. So, uh, yep, I like how this is going. So I'm just going to give it a few more pieces of background and we'll go from there. Okay, background is ready. I'm going to put some gesso on the background and I'm going to just um, calm that background down a little bit, that wallpaper has a um, gray and white vibe to it. And I thought it just needed to be pushed back in the background a little bit. And we're getting ready for our next step. So far, so good. This is pretty basic and pretty easy for you. I'm sure that you can definitely do this and I'll follow along if you're interested in doing that. So now I'm giving that a good dry and I was using Liquitex, Liquitex gesso and now I am just writing my affirmations and this is something that Lolly talks about a lot and it's just like writing some um, information to yourself and you're just putting it down you're putting those affirmations out to the world now here I'm sealing that Stabilo pencil with a bit of my matte medium it's smearing it a little bit, but that's okay. It's just adding that really cool texture to the background. I think it's a neat technique, and we have to seal that Stabilo pencil because it's water soluble, and we're going to add some different elements on. So giving that a good dry, and isn't it kind of neat just like that? Now here I wanted to calm the background a little bit, so I'm adding a little bit more gesso, and it's just really fun to play and use your fingers and go ahead and make the background your own. I'm leaving some of those words and affirmation sh uh, showing through, but this is absolutely how I wanted the background. And again, giving it a dry. And the next step, I believe we're going to be adding some color. So, yep, right now it's looking a little black and white and gray, but you'll see at the end it takes on a whole different look. So just fun to do something different, you know, step out of your element and create and see where it takes you. Giving that a good dry and now we're going to put down some water soluble products. 
I have some marabou crayons and I have some gelados and I'm just scribbling them on the background and the way I picked out these colors were just some of the colors that I had in my twinchies that I made my two inch pieces of art and now I sprayed some water down and I'm going ahead and using my clean brush and just smearing them and adding the water so it creates a really really fun background. I'm doing all the yellow first and then I went back and did the orange and I actually come through on the piece and use a little bit of um, some more water there and we're going to use some I thought I used some green, but maybe I didn't. Nope, I guess I didn't. Now I'm just going to use the reverse stenciling technique and I'm just going to wipe some of that um, water soluble crayon and gelato back up with my wet towel. Now here's your second layer of your affirmations to yourself. And you're supposed to use your white um, markers or your white pens and these are paint pens. I have one that is by uh, the company. I'm not seeing the company. Um, it doesn't much matter because I don't really like it and it just frustrates me. So I just actually threw it away. The one that I actually love is a Posca paint pen. And that's what I did. I wrote all over that background. And it's just um, affirmations to me, what I wanted to be focusing on. I wanted to be focusing on my art and creating and not worrying about um, how many projects I can get done. I'm just worried. I'm just thinking about, you know, going ahead and being in the moment and creating and just learning by other instructors and artists and just having fun. So that's what I was writing to myself, not to get too heavy and too deep into things. Life is stressful enough. We don't need any more uh, things to be stressed about. So I'm using a couple of stencils and you can see this one here is cut in half. It must have been from a workshop that I had my students using it and I needed to I uh, have more than one, and it is a mosaic tile stencil by Tim Holtz. And so I'm using my heavy body gesso, which you can see here, I'm almost out of it. I use this product a lot, need to get some more, and um, I'm going ahead and just putting the two stencil patterns all over the background. And isn't, isn't it neat, all the texture? It turned out really, really cool. Now this is gonna take quite a while to dry and I let it dry overnight. Now here's where I'm taking my two inch by two inch twinchies and I'm putting them on the background. And I saw that some of them I had stamped this um, kind of a cheesecloth texture on. So I went ahead and stamped that cheesecloth texture on all of those. And then I was picking out some sentiments from my uh, Tim Holtz sentiment books there. And I was deciding what I was going to do next. So I had my sentiments picked out and I'll link the paper packs below. And I'm using my uh, Sharpie marker and going ahead and going around all of the edges of those little sentiments and placing them on the little works of art that I created. And then um, I was trying to decide what next, what next? Well, I had one more to do here and I thought, I kind of want the black to be a base for those little works of art to make them pop from the background there. And so that's exactly what I did. I used my um, black chalk writer and went underneath all of those little works of art, twinchies as they're called. And look how cool that turned out. 
as I was doing that, I noticed that my little uh, words were falling off. The adhesive on the stickers were not strong enough. So I got out my uh, matte medium and I went over each of those little um, works of art and um, made sure that the sentiments were not going to fall off. And I grabbed my my hot glue gun, which is something I don't use a lot in my art, and why not? It sticks stuff down so absolutely perfect, and it creates some cool dimension. Here's some little finger uh, protectors that I have for using with my hot glue gun because I'm so afraid of it sometimes burning me. I hate when you get burns from your hot glue gun. So I'm just going ahead real carefully and adding all of those pieces to the squares that I created there in the background. I'm loving how it's turning out now. And of course, I have to pull it all together with that black border. And I'm using, again, that black chalk writer. It just goes on smooth and creamy. You can also use a um, black Distress Crayon by Tim Holtz. You can use a black Marabou Crayon if you have that. And I have been using a black uh, Double Scoop Gelato. And it anything that you want. You could use uh, charcoal if you wanted to also. This is just my go-to and what I like to put around my borders to frame the piece. And I think that it made those twin cheese, those little pieces of art pop also from the background. So I just wanted to give you a little look here and um, I really enjoyed how it turned out. I'm going to take this outside and spray it with my um, fixative. I don't like spraying that in the house and I'm going to use a semi-gloss and then I'm going to let it sit and dry overnight because I don't want it to stick together. So here's a good look at the finished product. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stop back again. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much.